Hello, my name is Cage Parkins. I'm a guitar player and uh, I received this Bex Gears guitar kit for Christmas here. So I wanted to share with y'all the unboxing and my journey through building this guitar. All right, so we've got the guitar kit here. Full disclosure, I have taken a peek at it already. Um, here we go. Big old box. This is how they send it. They send it within boxes, boxes, within boxes. So I guess we'll start with the smallest of the boxes here. It seems to be the heaviest. All right, so we've got some hardware and electronics. As you can take a guess at what kind of guitar kit this is based off of the pick guard here. It's already pre-wired, which is pretty cool. Just got to run the ground to the bridge, it looks like, and that's it. So we'll see. I don't know if we're going to keep the pickups or any of the electronics in the end, but maybe we'll mock it up. Sormi's pretty interested in it. See here. Uh, looks like we get an instruction manual telling us how to do it. Cool. If you've never built a guitar before, this does have step-by-step -step instructions and it looks like it's one of the simplest guitar kits you can do with everything being wired up already. Let's see, what else do we get here? We get a cable, truss rod tool, some strings, uh, tuning machines, Maybe they'll be all right. I'll probably replace those first thing. Back plate. Truss rod cover. Pick guard screws. Strap pins. It's a two nomadic. Maybe some sort of die cast. The tailpiece, so the bridge feels a little cheap. The tailpiece actually has some good weight to it. Studs seem like they're some sort of copper or something. And then the other three tuning machines and hardware. There's not too many parts actually. If we weren't painting this, we'd have this together in an hour or two. And next we'll check out the neck, it looks like. It is not as long as it looks in the box. Wrapped in a fabric kind of packing stuff here. And it's like a maple neck. A little bit of a chonky neck if you've played any of the uh, like cheaper Dean guitars. It's kind of the feel right off the bat. Kind of a D shape. Really, really small frets. So I don't know if you can see from the side there. We've got some dots. Cool V headstock though, the classic headstock. And it says it's some sort of, like some sort of ebony. Looks like maybe a 16 inch radius, so pretty flat. One note I want to make on that neck is the fretwork actually feels pretty good. We'll check it out and see how level the frets are. They looked pretty good looking down the neck. But here we have the body. And it is, you know, it's got a three to match what was on the heel of the neck. Decent. Decent looking grain. It's a little rough on the edges, could probably use some sanding for sure. I'll be sanding it before I 
painted or anything. All the holes are pre-drilled for the pick guard, it looks like. So you could conceivably just put this guitar together right off the bat and play it. It looks like might be a little smaller than a Gibson V. Um, it's not mahogany, but it looks like mahogany. And we have one, two, three, four, four pieces of wood, it looks like. Let's see that from the back. Are we still filming? So, I want to take a sec and just see how the neck fitting is with the body. Take a look at how how it'll look. Very snug. The angle looks pretty good. Wow, well, I mean, only setup will tell. But so far, I'm digging it. So you literally won't even have to solder anything for this kit. You just strip back this wire a little bit, put your post in, and it will be grounded to the bridge. It actually looks closer to full size all put together. Overall, I'm pretty excited. This is a relatively cheap kit, but I'm super excited to put it together, see if we can make a great playing guitar out of this. Um, I want to finish it. I'm still debating on mocking it up before actually going through with taking it apart and finishing it. I'm trying to decide on that right now, trying to decide a color. Maybe sparkle purple, maybe sparkle green. We'll see what the next few days hold for that. But um, overall, I think this is pretty cool. It's gonna be a fun project. It's gonna at least be, you know, a fun journey.